Hey, y'all, this is Athena at the podcast of Why Are You Still Single? Yeah, why are you still single if you're single? Welcome aboard. Hey, before we get started, I ask that you like, if you like it or not, (laughs) and comment because your voice is valid and subscribe so whenever the next show come up, they run Wednesday to Wednesday, you'll be in the know. Again, this is Athena, and we're about to have an exciting time speaking to a gentleman about why women carry masculine energy in the absence of a Black man. I bet you want to know. Stay tuned as we're going to bring in our guests right now. Remember, like, share, and comment, and subscribe. It's very important. It's a single uh, epidemic out there, and guess what? We want to ask you. Why are you still single? Our next guest that we're going to be speaking to out here, his name is Trenton. Hey, Trenton. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. As you know, you are on Why Are You Still Single? This is the name of the show. And I just want to ask you a couple of questions in regards to women and masculine energy. Men all the time complain about I don't like that masculine energy a woman carries, or I'm not going to deal with a woman with masculine energy. So let me ask you, as it relates to women and masculine energy, how do you define uh, masculine energy in a woman? I define women with masculine energy as the hide, uh, maybe the pain that they've suffered. So they probably endured some, you know, bad relationship or they've been hurt. So they have to put this facade or this dominant energy, like no man can't hurt me. They put up this wall, they put up the shield that would, you know, substitute their pain. They don't want the man to see their pain. So they come off with this masculinity, like nothing can't hurt me, nothing can't phase me. Okay, good answer. Now, as it relates to being a black man and uh, dating women with masculine energy, um, how do you, in a relationship with a woman, to, with masculine energy, uh, perceive her? Do you, like if you're dating a woman for the first time and you notice that she has masculine energy, do you one, just don't call her back no more? Or do you two, uh, call her on it so that she knows that you're, you, you notice that she's walking in that masculine energy? So one, do you just say, hey, I'm not going to deal with that? Or do you two, call her on it? Um, I don't call her on it. I just see if there's another side to her. You know, there's a there's a time and a place for everything. You know, I like a strong woman. I was raised by strong black women, so I like a strong woman. But at the same time, I like a woman to be feminine. So if she can't separate the two, then it's time for me to move on. Good. Thank you for your answer. Now, as it relates to the absence of black men in women's lives, do you think that play a major role of women having to make their own decisions or man up or be in that masculine energy? I think so. I've, I've spoke to a lot of friends who had fathers who was out the Apple place and they said that, you know, that's the reason why they were single or they had a bad choice of men because they was looking for that, that father figure that they didn't have, you know, growing up. Okay. So the role of a man in his masculine energy is just quickly just to make decisions and say, woman, this is just going to be it. Uh, This is how we're going to roll. So when you are around a woman that is aggressive and in that masculine energy and she's quick to make the decision and it seems like it's best for you all, how does that make you feel? Um, I don't have a problem in it. I prefer uh, a woman to you know make decisions and I like a woman that knows what she wants and, and goes after and pursue it that's actually a turn on for me so I don't have a problem you know if she said this is how it is and with her you know masculinity I don't have a problem with it I, I embrace it okay that would that sounds that sounds uh, fine from your perspective most men would like to be the one that leads and uh, you know that's just different men I guess I have to rephrase the question, like if you're in a, a relationship and you're the man of the house and 
generally you're making the decisions for you and her and she yeah uh what do you call it she oversteps you and makes the decisions how does that make you feel without conferring with you that's what i'm saying oh okay and that in that aspect yes yes, yes. Yeah. we're living together yes because i believe you know the bible or i was raised to believe that the bible the man is the head of the household however he should still uh discuss issues with his wife and if they can't come to agreement overall he should make the final decision and she should respect that if he is truly the, the head of the household okay, but so it, it, yeah no go ahead so and like what you were saying is how would i feel if she just said go ahead and do it then i would feel that you betrayed my role in this relationship as head of the household you're gonna do what you're gonna do then we we need to have a conversation okay so if you were talking to the younger generation of men that are seeing this dominance in women far as masculine energy what would you say as we uh close up our interview here on um why are you still single uh what would you say to the younger men far as dealing with these young ladies that are very aggressive and assertive and some would say disrespectful but walking in some of that masculine energy how would you kind of coach them in dealing with uh these young ladies i would tell them you know to take a step back uh look at the situation listen you know watch her movements how she moves how she walks how she talks and then you move accordingly. If that's something you want to deal with, then you deal with not, you walk away. Don't feel that you have to deal with that person. Thank you. Good advice. And before we close, I want to ask everybody out there that's listening, make sure that you like, share, and comment. Remember, your voice is valid and we want you to not miss any of the shows. And before we leave, the last and final question, Trenton, why are you still single? I'm single because I'm a workaholic. I work a full-time job and I work a part-time job. I work from six to seven days a week and I really don't have time or when I do have time, it's not convenient for that other person. And another reason why I'm still single is I have a problem with commitment or being consistent when I'm dating. You know, I might, we might date or communicate for about a week and then you won't hear from me for about two or three weeks because I'm, I'm so busy. So that's why I'm single, still single. Hey, that's but honest. I'm, I'm working honest on it. <laughs> but I'm working on it. I'm working that's on honest. it. That's honest. That's good. That's honest. Is honest and good. Thank you so much, Trenton, for uh, coming in and sharing your point of view about how is it, uh, how is it that women become masculine with the absence of a black man? On why are you still single? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment because your voice is valid. Bye bye now.